No, no, Brother Billy. More like a hunt to me. Look, you know, who was at this event last night? It was, um, uh, it was the 20th anniversary or the 21st anniversary of the Organization of African Unity. 51st. 51st, I'm sorry, when we talk 20, 20 years of, uh, of, of uh, democracy. democracy in South Africa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 51st, right. And um, I, I have some, I want to say some, some, some observations. Let's okay. put um, I got to ask a question last night. I don't want to go into that, but one of the things in my uh, warm up, my, my opening statement, just to identify myself, and that is my name. But I, I basically told them that uh, uh, I have an African mentality and my culture is, is American. Now what I didn't say, even because it's been 50 years since this happened, was that uh, uh, African-American contact with the OAU, at least we can chart it to, uh, to Malcolm X's visit. Uh, and when they had the conference uh, the, the, uh, in 64, uh, at, um, in, uh, in Egypt. Now he came with an agenda. In fact, I think I'm sorry here. But one of the things, uh, one of the things he came with an agenda is, uh, in fact, him and uh, John Henry Clark, noted historian, an African American historian, they wrote a, uh, a, 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 a plea, or, or I don't know what I want to call it, uh, but they, they wrote a letter to the Organization of African uh, Unity, um, and they were saying that uh, they were starting an organization called the Organization of Afro-American Unity, and they had a basic program for this Organization of African-American Unity, which is based on the Organization of African Unity, but it, it involved four things, restoration, it involved uh, reorientation, education, and economic security. Okay. Uh, we won't get into all of that happened, but as we know that that following year, uh, Malcolm was assassinated in the Autobahn Forum. And uh, even though the organization Afro-American Union did start, uh, you know, really didn't, didn't, didn't take off. But what concerns me, though, is how far even the organization of African Union has gotten away from original tenants. I know there's a lot of reasons why, whatever have you, but but this is a concern. But I want to go back to the program last night. Forget all this hoopla, because everything changes all the time. But here's the: I have this huge problem right now in South Africa. The uh, the Chief Justice of the High Court um, was talking to a bunch of religious folks, and he suggested that um, that uh, religion should be a part of. Uh, the fabric of our life, but, but officially, somehow, he wanted to take a religion, and I, go, I guess it's constant in the Constitution, I don't know what he was talking about exactly. Because mm -hmm. as soon as he said that, my mind just clicked off. So admittedly, I'm ignorant of this. But it, but it brings up a point. Now last night when you have this program, like all programs I've noticed in South Africa, it always starts with some sort of um, preacher talking, benediction, I don't know what y'all call it, like that. Mm -hmm. And then you have the program, and then at the end you have a final prayer, okay? Now here's my concern. If I was going to church, um, and, and, and every church started with um, a, a benediction, I'll call it that, on the Constitution, say, of the Republic of South Africa, or the Constitution of any country, right? Whatever country you're in, then you would say, "Oh, that's improper," you know. Uh, that's politics and church, and we're blah blah blah, whatever it is. Maybe they won't say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But here we have a non-secular, that's how you say non-religious, we have a non-religious ceremony, a government to whatever ceremony, you know. And we start out with a preacher, and what he did, he was scheduled for five minutes. I'm sorry, I'm going to talk black American now, if you don't mind. This boy done talked for like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Mm. I'm going like, yo, what's the... And then he's doing stuff like the Bible this and the Bible that, and then he's trying to relate to us. So he says the Queen of Sheba was black. What is it? Wait, 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 wait. Right there, I'm going to stop him. The Queen of Sheba is not black. The Queen of Sheba was African. Black is a false construct. 
didn't exist by the, in the time of the, the, the time that the Bible was talking about. Mm -hmm. In fact, then people would identify by their culture. In fact, if you want to know if, a, if, if there was a black person, they would say he was an Ethiop. He came from Ethiopia, which he came from Africa. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to say. And he's here in, in a university campus. And his evidence for stuff is the Holy Bible edited by King James, edited by a colonialist. <laughs> and he's going to be in a, in a scholarly thing and nobody challenges him. Okay, fine, great. So he takes up all our time. Then the other day, I won't get into how they started late because they wanted the audience to fill up. So anyway, so now we come to question and answer time. And how time is cut short? Oh, because people got to get back to East London and, and da, da. Well, well, you should have started on time. You should have made that preacher mm -hmm. talk for only five minutes. Mm -hmm. But here's my biggest concern. Look, we have these programs all the time. And I'm saying, how come, in a, again, a non-religious situation, a government or whatever, a, a community situation, how come we don't start? And you can start with a benediction if you want, whatever you'll call that stuff. Huh? I'm, I'm a, look, I'm a deist, I study that stuff, but I, I forget it because I don't have to deal with that stuff. But why can't we start with something about the Constitution? Why can't there be a Constitution benediction? And somebody talking about this is our Constitution, and then they go chapter one says this, and I'm going to talk on chapter so and so, you know, article, whatever, and, and blah, blah, blah. Why, why isn't that <laughs> happening? I don't get it. So here we have a Chief Justice saying that we need more religion in the, our affairs, but yet and still, here's the Chief Justice is not advocating to have more constitution in, in our affairs. Mm -hmm. Just tell me I'm wrong. I'll, I'll be wrong, but just tell me mm -hmm. I'm wrong. Anyway, mm -hmm. this is one of those dispatches from the Austria Director Emeritus, meaning me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.